Hey guys, we're on something different than DWM or ChatWM all the time. I booted up Hyperland, there was a new package again, everything works fine. So Hyperland dot uh, slash or minus, Hyperland minus git. You have to know when you're on Hyperland, it is every day that we build the scripts. So whatever they put on the AOR, on the GitHub from Hyperland, it might break, right? And then there was yesterday a key thing, so it might break. But nevertheless, when everything works, you have a nice, beautiful desktop, but it's Wayland. So not all the desktop uh, applications will work on Wayland. And I wanted to visit again the possibility of dual screens. What you're not seeing, and I suppose I can't record that, I can't switch that, this contains less buttons up here right normally there's also the, the little alien up there at the at the end and then there is the sys tray and then the key the the clock here and then a little globe and then the sound and then a little icon for the wallpaper so all of that is gone and it's on the th the next one so the second screen i'm gonna include a code in the package that will enable you or figure so you can figure out in waybar i've made a new one config dual screen at this point in time i suppose it's going to be the same more or less so in the meantime i've changed the clock so this is the code for and that's something you need to change where are you not seeing it here output so the output matters of course and that's something i can't don't i don't get the the workspaces in waybar i would like to have well when i press 2 it goes to the second screen right and that's not really what i want so that i don't get but i at least i can make a waybar different on the left screen and the right screen that's something already and I need to figure out the hyperlint hyper and then hyper and then you press tab and see what's what's there and hyper CTL is there and there I think it's gonna be monitor so have a look on all these possible possible things monitors so X render can give you of course the same thing HDMI a2 and one and two which makes it easy so I'm gonna change here this is the bar for left screen and that's the bar for right screen and in the meantime i've made some more decisions so what i have what i keep is only the clock and the tray and the custom power is gone it's only on the right screen like this and modules left i don't want to see the modules left so this thing here i don't want to see on my second screen so I just put hashtags in front of it. And these are just lines I can get rid of. Voila. So this, what I'm looking now is this one and I'll add it inside the config. So at least you can have a look at the code. So when we save and we do a scale, right? You'll see the difference. Sure, be patient, I am patient. Voila, it's gonna break the config I see of Waybar. So config and then, ah, there he is. And then he's going to add. So if you do an update and you do this scale thing or you go and have a look at ETC scale, you'll have this, right? The difference between this one and that one is this. So you need to add some output, XRender or the tool of HyperCTL there and then it's up to you just just to the copy paste from the top and then put it in here the way it should be done like this um, brackets square brackets i think they are called in the beginning and the end and then just copy paste it. this bit comma this bit and then start the changing all right so that's for the dual guys dual monitor guys but make sure the output is correct and if everything breaks and that's gonna be the case uh, close without saving that's gonna be the case right super Q is not working I have again a QWERTY keyboard <laughs> give 
Mi? Azért ti? M. Oh my god. Azért ti? Hagglet. Wow. Well, I'm back on Azért ti. I need to log out and then it's done. What did I want to say? Yeah. If it breaks and it will break, you go, go to dot config, you go to hyper, you go to waybar, 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 this one, nope, not that one. This is launched here inside the status bar. If you open it up, that's where you say waybar, right? So this is the one that you need to run. The status bar is gonna kill and open it again. So this is the normal look. This is the default one. And if I want to have the other one, I'll have to do something. I have to execute something. I have to go to this one, that one, that one. Or another way of doing this is this. Control A, Control C, open that. Control A, Control V, save. And stop the way bar. Stop, 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 run. And there you go. I have back the dual monitor way bar now. All right, enjoy, look at the codes, and for only for the guys on Dual Monitor, play with it. Cheers.